Hello, it's John Burford with Chart of the Week for Monday 22nd of August. And I just review uh, last week's uh, coverage on Apple. Uh, I made a pretty gutsy uh, prediction that Apple shares were due to fall from uh, a very elevated level. This was the chart that I showed. Uh, the interesting thing here is the uh, momentum uh, reading here. Uh, I've put arrows on uh, high values of momentum um, that corresponded to peaks, albeit temporary, in the share price. There's one there, that one there, that one there very temporary <laughs> and this one here which happened to be the all-time high so far um, and last week it made another touch on this level here and it also touched this downtrend line I joined that high and that high extended it and it just happened to intersect the share price last week um, this was a Fibonacci 76% retrace of the wave from this high down to that low. I've marked that as wave one. That was my wave two that was uh, penciled in at the time. But uh, this morning I see Apple shares have gapped lower, um, which means they do not like this level of resistance. They don't like that line whatsoever. Uh, they shun it like the plague. <laughs> so unless uh, the shares can gather its loins and move sharply above here, which I feel is very unlikely, we are in the start of a huge move lower in a third wave. Uh, but this week I'm covering Tesla, which is another of the big tech darlings of the uh, investment bulls. This is the uh, daily chart. It shows the, uh, the huge <laughs> vertical, final vertical buying frenzy that took it to the November all-time high at $124. Um, that could not be sustained. The buying flared out um, and it uh, descended. Now I've got this uh, uh, as my wave three high here. This is my wave four and an ABC that's textbook rallied up to the $121 region just slightly under the uh, wave three high and and started a, a very substantial decline. Now, I've marked this as a truncated fifth. Uh, these are very, very rare. Uh, believe me, they are so rare, I've only spotted less than a handful in all of my, uh, my years trading. This, um, so that's a pretty gutsy um, uh, play to, to, to call that a truncated fifth. But I think the wave uh, labels do fit. So from the fifth, We've got an one, two, three, four, five waves down to the one. That resulted in an A, B, C textbook three wave rally in a wave two off of that high. Then this is another one, two, three, four, five wave down to another wave one. And since that low in June, We've had an ABC, A, B, and this is the C wave, final C wave. It took it to the Fibonacci 62% retrace of that wave there. That is a fairly typical reversal point. Um, it um, also occurred on a momentum divergence. So it's all adding up very strongly to suggest that that is the rally high at uh, $90 and I believe we are set for a wave three of three, a most destructive wave. And my first target would be this lower tram line here. Um, 
that would be my major, my first major target. So uh, let's see what happens. I th this is my line in the sand at the $90 region. Or is it 95? Um, I think it's mm, 95. Sorry, $95 is my line in the sand. If it surges above that towards this line here, um, I am back to the drawing board. But as of now, I place the odds on this outcome as at a higher level.